Hi guys, I want to share with you today this Quilton Hay Sofa. We just got it after four months of waiting and I am very excited to share it with you guys. It's an absolute gorgeous sofa. We bought it sight unseen, never sat on it, never tested it. So I want to give you as much information about the product as possible because it's a wonderful sofa and it can be very difficult to pull the trigger on a large purchase like this. So. If you have any questions about this product after you finish watching the video, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer. I want to touch upon the research stage and I guess the shopping stage for a sofa. There are so many options out there and so much information that it can be very, very overwhelming. So when we found this piece and it was purely by the way that the design looked that we fell in love with it, we had to have it. We knew that we needed to find out more information. And really what appealed to us the most was the fact that it looked modern and minimal and it looked comfortable and inviting. And it just had like this kind of personality that kind of fit with our decor. So we had to have it. We just, it, it was like the most beautiful sofa out of all the research that we saw. And so we started to kind of reach out to Hay and to Design Within Reach and try and figure out some information. And it was very limited on the information that was available. But the Chicago Hay showroom had a wonderful sales associate that sent me pictures of the sofa that they have in their location. And it was the only one that was available that uh, it was just absolutely gorgeous. It was like, dark gray and looked so pretty. Now this particular Quilton sectional does come in different configurations. You get the sofa option, there's a wide option, and then there's this option with the chaise, which we absolutely just had to have. So let me tell you, the wide option is 140 inches wide versus the one that you're looking at right now is 112 inches wide. Now the height and the depth are exactly the same, so nothing changes, but in the middle of this, I mean, where you see that kind of section right there, you would just get another portion that was a little wider. As of today, January 2022, that extra wide section is a thousand dollars extra to the cost. Now I'm sure that the cost is going to change depending on when you watch this video, so I won't really go deep into that discussion, but the price did go up from the moment that we purchased it in 2021 to the beginning of uh, 2022. So already the prices have kind of changed. As far as the comfort level of this sectional, compared to mags, it is softer and it's also much easier to get out of in comparison to sofas that you sink into. Comfortable overall, and I think it would suit a lot of different guests that you might have coming into your home. Now, the actual frame of this sectional I'm gonna say sectional and couch, I hope you guys don't mind, but the actual frame is consistent of plywood, pine, and beechwood. It's very, very sturdy when you touch it. Even just when you look at it, you can see that there's a good amount of structure to the frame. The inside is spring suspension with a polyurethane foam cushion, padding, it's like quilted design as you can see, and also hence the name, and it's I believe that now they may be coming out with a leather version, but right now it's only fabric upholstery available. And the upholstery comes in different colors. The different colors are just, they have gorgeous neutrals and they also have a few fun greens and navies and, you know, well, it's just one green and one navy. So this sectional is connected right here at this little divider. There are two metal brackets that kind of click into each other when you are assembling the couch. And by assembling, I just mean putting the two pieces next to each other. It's very easy to put together. Um, but the positive thing about those two metal brackets is that it won't over time slide apart. You can also get matching pillows with this sectional they have two different pillows one is the dot pillow and the other one is the mags matching pillow and you can get it in some of the fabrics have a matching section and others do not um the pillows are quite expensive in my opinion so you know but i do want to say that i would 
actually use this couch without pillows. Like right now we have some just to fill the space, but it looks fantastic without them. And I think it actually looks a lot more minimal and clean when you don't have them. I don't find that I need it for back support. I want to also share with you how comfortable it is to sit on. I would just basically show you that you don't sink in when you sit on it and there is a little bit of bounce. And I know that I'm bouncing up and down on the cushion, but there's quite a bit of space for you to stretch out and you don't sink into the couch. So like you can see that my legs aren't even making a dent in the material and yet you still feel comfortable sitting because these little quilted areas have that extra bit of bounce or cushion. I want to share with you guys the color options that you have in the neutral palette for this sofa. Now we decided to go with mode clavicle. We also did a like a spot test where we would drip some coffee on the swatches to see how it would hold up and this one held up amazing. This particular piece or I guess fabric is 80% post-consumer recycled polyester. It's made in the USA. You can easily clean it with water and even some like mild detergents, I believe. And it's, it's very durable. So to us, that was very, very important when it came to this sectional, especially because we knew that it was going to be our primary seating. Now this is the mode darker gray option which we considered for a while and in the stock pictures it looks much lighter but it's so pretty this is the sort of like boucle option that they have and this one is absolutely like gorgeous soft and, and fluffy feeling i don't know how it would hold up if you have pets but this one is 33 percent acrylic 30 percent wool 29 percent cotton and some polyester it's made in belgium so it's nice now this one's my particular favorite and as you can see it did not stand up to the coffee test um it's super soft this is by the way i do want to throw in that this is the most expensive option and that's because it is 75 percent australian wool and uh there's some like alpaca wool in there and it's made in italy it's absolutely beautiful it's also the one that is like the least durable one as you can see it did not hold up to the coffee test it went right through you know we swiped the coffee right off and it's still stained um it, i mean it's a gorgeous piece but it all depends on what you're looking for in terms of durability and how you're going to be using your seating arrangement if it's going to be in a room where not that many people are going to use it then you can definitely go with this fabric uh but if it's going to be your primary you know every day you've got kids you've got dog whatever i would go with the mode options now keep in mind that these options are the neutral palette by the way their website allows you the hay website allows you to request samples swatches of the fabric that you're interested in and i think it's really great of them to do as a company because it allows you to do exactly what you and i are doing right now to look and compare and kind of see what we like uh, this was my personal favorite it's super soft and it just it feels awesome but the boucle sort of style fabric is super soft and super super fluffy although i will say that if you have like a cat that most likely cat claws will easily get caught in here and probably also cat fur fast forward to some daylight now this is the best daylight that we can get in the morning of january it's a little bit dreary out but this is really kind of like the true to color of the mode clavicle it's very very subtle and soft and just it looks very pretty it's like a off-white basically i don't know if that's what you would call it but maybe bone maybe that's a reference to the clavicle name i don't know but um, it's very pretty, very uh, minimal and of appeal to it. Now, I do want to say, actually, that the cleaning instructions in general suggest that you vacuum it with an upholstery nozzle to remove any dust, smooth the fabric with your hand from time to time to remove wrinkles, and to blot spills immediately with a clean, dry cloth, never rub, which can result in loss of color. The mode fabric does suggest that you can use mild detergents on it and that kind of thing but it's worth taking note because i think that that's like one of the best features of a couch when you can clean it also i do kind of sit on the chaise section much more often and not so much on this side even though you can see how like cushy these sides are you could just push yourself right up into this corner and it's super super comfy 
but I do want you guys to notice what it looks like right now that it's new and fast forward a week and a day as you can see the right side has some ripples going on on it and it's a little bit concerning enough for me to have reached out to hey customer service in response they basically said that they're not sure and that the product is fairly new basically they think that it's normal but over time these ripples should smooth out i find that to be a little bit hard to believe because you know fabric tends to stretch out and i don't think that it's gonna get any better if anything is probably gonna get a little bit more stretched out i will keep you guys posted i'll keep documenting what you know what goes on with this fabric here it's a little bit unexpected especially since we've only had this sectional for a week and it doesn't look like it's been a week. It looks like it's been maybe a little over two months or so. And it's a little disappointing. I'm not sure why this is happening, although I did sort of expect this from fabric. Uh, wiping it, like swiping it with my hand, kind of trying to smooth it out, does absolutely nothing. It doesn't really um, change the way that the ripples look. And it's specifically in these like predominantly these two sections, these two quilted sections that it's having these ripples, even though I usually sit on the chaise side, that's like my favorite sitting area or like this little corner where I'm removing the pillows. So I'm not 100% positive what's going on with the fabric. I do know that this fabric is very widely used and it's very, um, popular choice for a lot of a lot of companies to use this fabric so i'm not really sure what's happening hay wasn't able to give me a solution of what to do so i guess we're just gonna wait and see i think the sectional still looks amazing it's still super comfortable and it feels really really nice i am a little concerned about the ripples i think it takes away from the clean structure even though I expected them, I just didn't expect it to happen within one week. So, you know, I maybe this is just personal to this specific couch. I don't think that you should think that it would happen to yours, but just be aware that this is something that you might expect. Well, I hope this video really helps you guys make a decision and kind of get a better understanding of the quilt and sofa. I hope that I was able to answer a lot of questions that you may have. If I wasn't or if I missed something, please feel free to ask below. Please hit the like button. Let me know that you like the video. And also, if you want a follow up, please let me know. I will be more than happy to follow up on the condition and how much we still do or don't love it, you know. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and good luck with your couch shopping.